to point something out to you. Kale is a fad. It's not fit for human consumption, yet people have been wildly swindled into thinking that it's healthy. In fact, the kale fad has done more harm than good and in such an underhanded way that most people don't even realize it's the kale that's giving them issues. Why? Well, let's examine some facts about kale. Kale, far before being widely consumed by sheeple, was actually consumed by real sheep, the kind that graze around in a field. Farmers were feeding kale to their sheep as an alternate food source, yet they started to realize that the lambs that were being born with goiter, or basically a swollen, poorly functioning thyroid gland, they started to see that that was a bit suspicious. So researchers ex experimented with the kale on the sheep and rabbits with pretty disturbing results. Turns out, kale contains a goitrogen called thiocyanate, which is chemically very similar to the deadly cyanide. Some young lambs were stillborn in their brain development stunted by their goiters. The consumption of the kale had actually blocked their thyroid's ability to function properly even in the presence of proper iodine consumption. And with many modern people consuming very little iodine, it's no wonder that the instances of hypothyroidism are rising every year. Meanwhile, kale is being turned into every type of junk food imaginable from poof of fried kale chips to kale shakes. This anti-thyroid leafy vegetable is going to do some real damage if it's not exposed. So I'm going to do my part. I've never liked kale. I think it's just a, you know, people are just convincing themselves they like it. It doesn't even taste good. Scientists, when they first started studying kale, never considered that humans would someday actually consider it a health food. Back then it was only food for livestock. At that point, it wasn't even an impressive food because it was actually, you know, damaging the, the health of this livestock. And, and a lot of the livestock, you know, wasn't even being born. They were being born with developmental issues. So even before uh, people you know, were noshing on kale chips all day, kale managed to poison these cows and, and the, you know, anyone who was eating it. So cows grazing on kale transferred its poison, the poisons from the, the kale into the milk, which happens very frequently, uh, a lot of times with estrogens, but it can be tr you know, transferred with these goitrogens as well, affecting the thyroid development of the children that were drinking this milk and causing even a well-documented epidemic of goiter in Tasmania. So we're not talking just the US here. There was actually a widespread epidemic of goiter because of the, the livestock, the cows that were giving the milk in Tasmania actually had um, all of this in their system. Kale's also rich in sulfur and compounds that convert to sulfur, which is the chemical that basically makes, you know, eggs smell bad. One metabolite of sulfur, which is called S-methylcysteine sulfoxide, is known to cause quote, what's known as kale poisoning, which is severe hemolytic anemia, which is a life-threatening breakdown of red blood cells in livestock. Poor sulfur digestion is associated with many serious illnesses in humans, though whether it causes them or merely exacerbates them remains to be seen. So it makes sense that kale would be dangerous given it's evolved into in an evolutionary war basically against those that try and eat it. Like I was saying earlier, these leaves have actually evolved into having these defense mechanisms against being eaten and kale is just one of the examples. And my point in using kale as an example isn't really to scare anybody. It's merely to just point out that the evolutionary role of leaves is not as benign as you might have first considered. Since leaves are constantly exposed to potential predators, the plants develop really effective chemical defense mechanisms against being eaten. So wouldn't it make more sense to eat something nutritious that will actually make you healthier and needs you to eat it like fruit?